Bay Sports, and man, the energy around this city is electric as they get set to kick off a homestand. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And it's a quick pass to Johnson. Takes a big hit. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming. And that's what he does with that first hit. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Minnesota's won the draw. And Ross got it in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Oh, and gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Mason. And the puck leaves. He might have a step here. He scores! Jack and brilliant speed to get on his horse and get in on the breakaway, James. And that momentum, it carries right through on his shot, and he puts it home. Columbus came here on a mission. They wanted to get off to a good start. I'd say mission accomplished so far. Mission accomplished, and they've left their opponent absolutely stunned with the speed and pace that they've come out with. They get on the board early, and now their opponent's chasing the game. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. On the attack along the boards. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. To the front! Way too much congestion blocks that. That goes off the mask. Silverberg swooping in on the attack. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. They've got the defense outnumbered. To his teammate. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Chris made an incredible save right there. And it's kind of status quo. And rings the air. Minnesota's been working hard all game. A reason why they're still in it. And they had an opportunity to cut the deficit. But goes off the pipe and out. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. appreciation for the desperation save, the compete, the will to keep that puck out of the net, and they're really showing him the love. Quick pass to Granlin. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Intercepted at center by Scandella. Minnesota's been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks. They've had great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Feeds it down low. There's a firm collision. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. That's blocked. Now he takes it over the line. Hammers it on net. Uh-uh. Nice block. Minnesota's looking to break out. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. And he turned that one aside. Mason is known around the league for being solid between the pipes. He'll look to live up to that reputation. Boyboo's got that no contest zone ability, which means he can win battles for a loose puck and keep the pressure on. Let's see if one of these stars can give their team the upper hand in this matchup. Back to you now. And he shut the door on that last play. They are really pouring on the pressure here. And the defenders take possession. Got it, got it. Around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all around you that are going to come.
bomb and close. More than half the period has expired. We are all tied up in this one. Koi moves one possession. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Right on the doorstep. Over the head, stop playing and poke it away. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Foot's been struggling to put up some numbers, and it can be frustrating to head into a pointless street and it continue. When that happens, you start to get down on yourself. It can really affect your confidence. You gotta focus on the little things and try and keep good habits. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Koivu's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And he takes the feed. Oh, absolutely hammers him. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Look at this, they've got some bodies here on the attack. And a strong effort on that play. Oh, did he drop a thunderous hit there? Big stop right there. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Peck has won the draw and they're on the attack. And he can't hang on after that hit. Minnesota's got it into the offensive zone. Oh, and he had the answer on that one. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck along the boards. Columbus has it in the defensive end. Oh, what a hit on the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. Great reach with the poke check. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Into the attacking area from the left side. Columbus tries to break out from their own end. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. And they'll dump it in. Sends it quickly to Champion. And now it's over to Johns. Fires it! Oh, a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's grand larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save! And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Oh, he's such an offensive producer, and he just doesn't get it this time. And typically when he does, the whole team gets on his back and rides along with him. Oh, he'll feel that one. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there! Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Here's a rip! Oh, how did he get a piece of that? In the final moments of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Columbus has won the faceoff here in their own end. And that goes off course off a of body. Here's a short pass to Johnson. Minnesota's got control of the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the puck check. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Stalls won the draw here in their own zone. Quick feed to Rostovic. How did he stop that one? There's the buzzer. 20 minutes in the books. Second period just around the corner. Ready to drop the puck. Here we 
Yoma and struck to play in the second period, and it's still anyone's game. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Blue Jackets have had zero offensive production in this game. They've been on their heels, and really their opponent is taking it to them. The goaltender's been strong, and it's a stop! Stop! Call it! Head call! Puts them in front! And now they're in front, James, of a half of energy. You know that the first three strikes will be more urgent, but they have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. And that's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Minnesota's gone up by one here in the second period. Well, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Picked up along the wall by Johns. Defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. Makes your life so much easier. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. A oh, quick save. Makes his presence known on the ice. Here's a shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Angles it over to Kane. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Provorov. Chase in front, and that goes off a stick. Strong use of the body. Denies the shooter on that play. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Gostaspare. We got a whistle offside the call. We're still in the early stages of this period. Minnesota's been the better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. Jenner's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Solid check to slow him down. He got all of that one. Takes a shot. Oh, win it perfectly. What a save. Minnesota's got possession here in the neutral zone. Quick shot. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Minnesota's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Peck has won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Columbus steps inside. Centering feed! Looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Enroth. Gotta figure he knows about this now. Scores! That's three in a row! Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening. Puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Minnesota's now up by two here in the second, and you know, Cheryl, I really like their game tonight. Yeah, they've been fast in all three zones, and they've been skiing downhill in the offensive zone. That means they're attacking the net, and they're getting a majority of the shots, and they've been rewarded, James. Skiing and skating, what a magic combination. <laughs> and he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Pominville's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Handles it again. Oh. Coins looking.
second. Yeah, here we go. They didn't like that one bit. They didn't like it because it was dangerous. We can't have that in the game, James. And this fight is sort of a policing, if you will, of the game. And that's why they've dropped the gloves. Well, a spirited strap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking a thrashing. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Both benches showing respect for each of their players that are heading over to the penalty box. That was a tough one. It's purely exhausting to be in a fight like this, and they're just corralling their stuff and getting back to the box. Well, this game has new life breathed into this building tonight after what we just saw moments ago but we still got a game to play. And they win the face off and set up to go on the attack. Mason's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Still lots of time left in the period. Minnesota's got a 3-1 lead. Michael's got it and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Minnesota's been just savage in the offensive zone and they need it here in this second period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Wierenski's picking up steam. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Columbus is across the line and in the offensive zone. The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. The pass in front! Oh, he comes up with a stop! Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out battling, and out willing everyone around you. More than half the frame has been played here. It's a 3 1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. And they win the offensive zone. Score! Break out the clutcher on the steal because it's James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. Minnesota's ability to move the puck around tonight has been a treat to watch here, Cheryl. Yeah, and they really forechecked. They found a way to get the puck on their stick. They've been relentless on it. When they get it, they've had the majority of the possession time, and then when they get it, they're finding something to do with it, not just hanging out on the perimeter, but attacking the net. Well, it pokes the way! A risky play, but it pays off! He's one of the most effective backhand shooters in the game. He gets all of this one real quick, gets off his stick, but the goaltender with a great read. Rocked him along the wall! Quick pass to Jenner. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Palmanville. Fires it on net! Oh, nice stop with the glove by Mason! Minnesota's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Granlin's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And he denied him there. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Minnesota's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. And they'll start with possession. Here's a blast. Blocked away. Columbus takes possession of the puck. Takes the feed up ahead. Shot! Oh, what a chance there! Well, it almost looked like he converted a quick release shot. He had no time or space, but unable to put it by. Looks to pass it to Line. Quick pass to Goudreau. Shot! Stops him with a glove! 
Crisp's been really sharp tonight, James, and then just have a look at his save percentage and he making the stops that he needs to. The man his team's played well. They've got going north, they've created opportunities, and the reason why they have a healthy lead. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. And it's been a pretty one-sided affair to this point. It's 4-1. The Blue Jackets win it. Hammers one from the point. On a big time save on a big time shot. Huck sent over to Prosser. And that play's broken up. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. Minnesota's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they have capitalized on plenty as they take a sizable lead here late in the second. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Passes it over to Scandella. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Made the stop on the play. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Here in the late goings of the period, Minnesota's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. Answered the call on that play. Again, the denial by the goaltender. He made some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Scooped up along the wall by Pekka. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Club save. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Jenner's back on the ice as he should be. He's the captain and leader of this team. They're getting blown out right now, James. But what better way to create some charge here by your captain settling everyone down? Along the wing up the neutral zone. Here's a chance! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Champions, time in the penalty box is up, and he's got to get back to just finding his place within the game on the ice, and he gets a nice scoring chance right there that needs to give him some confidence. He can play physical, but he's also got to play with his brain. Michaels won the draw, now look to set up. Oh, gets a piece of it with his glove, and it keeps out. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high-danger area. And Ross going to play it against the half wall. Picked off by Texier. He takes a moment to backtrack, but maintains possession. Here's a short pass to Jenner. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Quick feed to Champion. Scores! Well, that's number two, Palmer. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gonna be looking for the hat. That's just a fantastic goal, James, and it all happens because it's transitional play. When you get it in the fastest skater hands and you're playing off the rush, you can be so lethal, and that's a great pass as well. Just a perfect execution from start to finish. Minnesota's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. Michaels won it, and he slides it quickly to Johns. Here's a chance in front! Three is the magic number. We've got period number three next. It's been a total mismatch 
here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Blue Jackets, Coach, won't be happy with their performance tonight in the effort areas and the habits. I mean, they really haven't been hard on the puck. They haven't been strong or physical. And as a result, their opponent has taken it to them because they've had the puck the entire game. Drives to the paint! And that goes off a player. What a hit against the wall! As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, and guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits, just like that one. Musa quickly over to champion. Oh, what a slick stop by Mason. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Michael's got it into offensive territory. Feeds the puck to Roslevic. Uses the force on that hit. Oh, what a close save. Columbus has possession of the puck in the offensive end. Moves up near the blue line and looks to set up at the point. They score! And if they ever needed one, this was exactly the time. Well, they're just trying to get some momentum back in this game. So deflating when you give up so many goals, James. But you got to figure that this is a step in the right direction. But what can they do with it now? they got to build or it's over. Well, you create offense by moving the puck, and that's exactly what he does here. He knows how to manipulate his opponent to open up the lane, but it's all about the pass. It's got to be on the money if you want to do something with it. Columbus has to continue to press and attack here in period number three. That was a nice play there to convert on that goal, but they need the other lines to get going, the other deep pairings as well, to jump into the attack. They need just a lot load of goals here if they want to even have an opportunity at winning this game. Slides it quickly to Texier. There's a chance in front! What a chance, but they can't connect! Minnesota's got it along the wall. And uses the length of a stick to knock that puck away. Big hit, and that frees up possession. A feed out front! Picked off in front. Moves it to Kobe. Along the half wall with the puck. Center into the middle! And that's intercepted! Dumps it in. The Wild have possession along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Granlin. Loses his balance on the play. Columbus plays it along the boards. Quick pass to Pekka. Crisp's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Minnesota's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Granlin's won the draw inside his own end. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Saucers it tape to tape. And now he moves it quickly to Prosser. And that's intercepted by a coin. Looking to set up offensively. Shot! Great save from in tight. Here's a short pass to Prosser. And now he angles it across to Granlin. Minnesota's playing it from the side. Columbus takes possession along the wall. Oh, big time hit along the wall. And this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Asplin. Dished on over to Johns. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Quick feed to Corelli. Off the left wing and into center. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. mark of this period. Fans being treated to an awful lot of lamp lighting tonight. It's 5-2. Michaels won the faceoff. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Columbus takes possession of the puck. Oh, and a big time hit on the play. Well, and it's another hit. I mean, how many times is that now, James? He's going to continue to be a target if his head is down. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Moves the puck along the half wall. Center and feed! He scores! What a play! It's hard to miss from this distance, but you got to get there. You got to get the puck on your stick. He does a great job of getting in tight. Minnesota's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. 
you know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. Tosses it to Niederreiter. Pass back to the point. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Take it along the wall by Proveron. Great use of the wall on the pass. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Scandella's got it behind his own net. Right up the gut, here they go. And the intensity starts to ramp up here after that hit. Good stand-up hit. Columbus is on the attack. Moves the puck. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Minnesota's been the more physical team right throughout this game, and I think that's a message that their coaching staff sent them. You know, they want them to be physical on the puck, really get them engaged, and then when they get it, they can dance, and the offensive zone can be their playground. Koivu's stick handling in his own zone. Gaining steam here on the attack. Moves into the slot. Comes up with the stop. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Oh, he caught him. Thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. Off his stick, denies him again. Oh man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Gets in front of him. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. Takes the feed from the left side. And they keep the pressure on. Gives them nothing in front. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, use your body, and get the puck. Carla Bade is standing by with her answer to the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Carla? Boyd has been active in this game, and even though he has no points, I still think he's been more engaged. I'm giving him the edge tonight, guys. Great defensive stick work on the play. Goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at and he wins it. This one sided affair finally nearing the end. Moves it to Wierenski. <laughs> and look at the glare from the goaltender after that went off someone in front. Columbus had to play like this at the outset. Like, you know, to wait till the third period, it feels a little late, Cheryl. There's a reason why when the coach draws up plays, they say you have to start with intensity, and they didn't do that all game long, and it's a reason why they're way behind the eight ball. Laying the body. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Dismiss that chance.
they're seeing from their players tonight. All sorts of scoring chances, and they lead late in the third. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. This is a dominating performance tonight, Sure, A big team to play, and they skated, and they were pucks on that. They kind of tripped off the boxes here. They did, and the speed through the neutral zone is something that I really noticed. They were able to gain entry off of the rush, and that speed drove the play and got pucks to the net. Well, that'll do it for the broadcast. It is time for me to overeat. On behalf of everyone here at EA Sports, happy Thanksgiving, everyone.